Does your MRI or x-ray say that you have a loss of lumbar lordosis and you're having trouble with back or leg pain? Then this video is for you. I'm going to show you the three best exercises to help increase your lumbar lordosis, reduce your back and leg pain. I'm Dr. Gregory Kramer, certified corrective care chiropractor in Livonia, Michigan. I've been practicing for over 30 years. I've seen over 200,000 office visits and I'm certified in chiropractic biophysics. Chiropractic biophysics is a corrective care approach. It's a scientific, evidence-based, and it's a personalized approach to assessing the spine and correcting the spine. We use basic engineering principles. So we measure your spine via x-rays. If you have a displacement of the spine, we'll use mirror image adjustment or opposite adjustments. We'll use mirror image traction or what we call remodeling traction, which is putting pressure over time. And then we do mirror image or opposite posture targeted exercises. Using these three things helps to reshape the spine. If you happen to have a disc problem on top of an alignment problem, we always include spinal decompression, which is a non-surgical approach to help the disc heal. Now today we're going to focus on what you can do to improve the curve of your lumbar spine. This is a picture of your spine. These are the discs. These are the vertebrae. You should have a forward bend or a forward curve to your low back and neck. That's called a lordosis. Too much isn't good. Too little isn't good. So what we want is the appropriate amount of curve in your spine. And the reason you need that is very simply that your spine is like a shock absorber. So your neck should have a forward curve, like a shape like a banana. Your upper back or thoracic spine should have a kyphosis going the opposite way. And your low back should have a proper curve. These curves are like a spring. And when you have a proper curve, you absorb shock from walking, lifting, running, and any other things that we do while we're on planet Earth. Without a proper curve, the force of your body is transmitted unevenly. That can slowly damage the disc. And that's what we've talked about in all our videos, okay? And abnormal load over time can, can very small, can create very small cracks or fissures in the disc. It can cause a bulging of the disc. The bulges can get uh, bigger over time. Those bulges can then lead to a herniation. So a proper curve is very important. Now, before we go any further, please watch the video to the end because I have a great exercise that I will show you towards the end uh, that you can do to help you in that exercise and we're going to talk a little bit about home traction can not only help you improve the curve of your back it might be the thing that you need to relieve your back and leg pain so don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do me a favor if you subscribe uh, let me know in the comment section so I can personally get back to you now before we talk about the three most important exercises to improve the lordosis let's take a look at a side view or a lateral view of a lumbar spine the blue line, as you see here, is the normal curve. The yellow is this individual patient. You will notice this is perfectly straight here, and all the bend is occurring right here. It's kind of like a hinge. What we, what we don't want is to have a straight lumbar spine and all the motion occurring at one or two segments. What we do want is a little bit of curve at every segment. All right. So as a result, we see a nice fat disc space here, but we see a degenerative disc back here. Usually the back part of the spine, that's where the first part of the disc to break down. And so if you hear the terms desiccation or thinning of the disc, usually it starts in the back of the spine. This individual, very simple, as you can see the yellow line, Think about what you would do to, to push the yellow towards the blue. Well, one of the things you would do is you could actually lie on a device, and this is called a De Niro roll, and this device we would place like this, okay? In other words, it would be under the small and the black, and I will show you that. This device was developed by chiropractic biophysics. Chiropractic biophysics is one of the most scientific and published techniques in the chiropractic profession. It assesses the spine using very common radiological techniques. We take an x-ray of the spine from the front and the back, we'll do some stress x-rays, and then we measure your spine towards normal. Just like, listen, if you took your kid's teeth and, you, and they get them evaluated by an orthodontist, they're going to have a normal model. 
You have a normal model for your blood pressure. You have a normal model for all of your blood work, for your blood sugar. Well, the same thing. You have a normal model for the spine. Okay, and then of course there's little pluses and minuses based on individual, but there's a you know a, a range within the normal model. Okay, so utilizing that approach uh, in our office, if someone has a large displacement like what this would be, we would do mirror image adjustments, exercise, and traction. We would also recommend a home care product. This is called a dinero roll. Now you cannot get this online because it has to be prescribed for a doctor by a doctor. You cannot again. Uh, it's not one size fits all. So this is an example of if you went to a chiropractor, what you're looking for is someone that takes an X-ray and then fits you. Do you need a small? Do you need a medium? Do you need a large? Do you need something else besides this? And where's the placement? Do we put it here? Do we put it here? Do we put it here? And sometimes when we're not sure where the placement is, what we do is something called a stress x-ray. We actually have the patient lie on their back of where we think the best choice for this type of corrective care product, and then we take an x-ray. And real simple, whatever makes the yellow line look closer to the blue line is the best one. And so the better you're aligned, the better the load's on the disc. And when the load of the, uh, is even on the disc, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna move with more efficiency, you'll move with a more efficient muscle uh, contraction. In other words, your body wants to move with the least amount of effort. So the better you're aligned, the body can work with less effort, all right? And also, and that's how you prevent the disc from breaking down. Remember, good alignment, good pressure, good loading, all right? So we use adjustments, exercise, and traction in our office, and we also use home care. So if you really wanna make a change in the lumbar curve, we're gonna do some type of traction, and traction is for the ligaments, uh, probably almost seven days a week. So it'll be a couple days in the office and a couple days at home. However, this is for you people out in YouTube land. We're gonna recommend exercise and then find a qualified, certified corrective care chiropractor. You can always go to idealspine.com and you can find someone. And again, so this is an example what you could use. And I'm gonna show you some exercises. Now the best exercise I'm gonna show last, that's where we use a band to really decompress that spine and create a fulcrum, okay? So with this individual, now I want you to look at this, this person, we would probably put the band up high just like we would put the De Niro roll up high. We want to push the yellow line towards the blue. And in, the, in, in just a moment, I'm going to show you where we put the band. And on some of you, the band will be down low towards the floor. For some of you, the band will be up high. I would recommend you test whatever one feels best. Okay, also when you do the band on your lower back, wherever feels the best, again, if, if you don't have a certified corrective care chiropractor, do the best you can and uh, listen to your body. Whatever feels the best, that's what I would do. And remember, no exercise, no home traction should cause pain to radiate down your arms or legs. And just like I said in all the other videos, if you have trouble going to the bathroom, if you have uh, trouble uh, any bowel or bladder signs, if you've got extreme weakness, you need to get to the emergency room, okay? That's not, that's a very small percentage of you, very, very small. Most of you can try conservative care, which would be uh, very simple. That would be exercise, structural rehabilitation, things like that. So exercise number one that I'm going to show you to help improve the curve would be something like a McKenzie exercise, okay? Or what we call a press-up. In this exercise, we just are on our belly, and what we're going to do is just press up, hold 5 10 seconds, and go down. Press up, hold 5 10 seconds, and go down. Now, an advanced version would be you would put your hands perhaps by your, your waist and go up and hold. and then you can press up a little higher. Make sure every exercise feels good to you. No pain should go down your arms or legs. It should feel good. Now, I always recommend tighten your stomach and tighten your glutes 
And the reason I do that is typically we don't want all the force to be at the small of the back. So one of the ways you can minimize the force not going to the small of your back is if you tighten your stomach and tighten your, your butt muscles or glute muscles, that helps distribute the force. But the best way is to put a fulcrum with a band up high and the band will go around that area, it'll be attached to the wall, and we'll show that in a minute, and I think that's the best exercise. So this is a good place to start. You're gonna do a prone press up, probably start with five, 10 reps, eventually work up to 100, add a few reps every day. If it feels good, do more. If it causes pain to go down in your butt or leg, I would do less. Uh, again, everything should be within your tolerance, and once you can handle the press-up, then you could try to use just your back muscles and your glutes to extend the spine. That is probably one of the best ways to improve uh, the help that with the curve. Hold five, five to ten seconds. Go forward. Hold five to ten seconds. Notice the upward angle of the pole. Okay, this is lumbar extension exercise with a strong band. And you're gonna place it wherever it feels best. Forward, back, really extend. And if you want a stronger pole, you move your chair back. Okay, this is a little bit lower pole. Now again, it depends what your x-rays look like. However, what if obviously if you don't have a corrective care chiropractor and you're just going by your MRI, it says you have a decreased curve, then you can go by the angle that ever feels best. And you can decide whether you wanna put it at your belt line, which is around L5, L4, or if you wanna bring it up a couple inches, go by feel. But the best way, and I'm telling you this right now, Find a corrective care chiropractor that measures your spine like an engineer. This is a thick band. If it feels really good for high tension, just move the chair back a little bit. You bend forward, forward, pause, come back, arch your spine, let this pull, it's creating a fulcrum, and we're molding, and we're gonna hold five, 10 seconds. We're gonna start with 10 reps. As long as it feels good, gradually add a few reps every day till you get to 100. Start at 10, work up to 100. Zero pain though. There should be zero pain in your spine. Go forward, let it pull, lean back, arch, let it mold you, the curve. Again, in our office, we use mirror image adjustments, mirror image traction, and mirror image exercise along with this is called a De Niro roll, which is prescribed by a doctor. You cannot get this uh, online because quite frankly, this is a very specific type of corrective device. But I wanted to kind of show you what you could do at home and also what you should be looking for when you find yourself a corrective doctor. So any good corrective doctor takes an x-ray. A good corrective doctor should have certifications in chiropractic biophysics, which is a corrective care approach. A good corrective doctor should be doing more than adjustments. Uh, he will include uh, opposite posture exercise, uh, traction, both in office, and plus a good corrective chiropractor usually is gonna give you things to do at home. That's your best chance for making a correction in your spine.